Mm. So tri-tip is known as the king of meats. I just made that up. Mm. No, it's not. Hey everybody, welcome to Greenhorn Barbecue and Beer. Uh, welcome to the channel. If uh, you're new, my name is Todd and Deborah is over there. Say hi. Hi. So today we're going to get this uh, piece of uh, tri-tip that we just thawed out uh, in the microwave. Uh, that's why it kind of looks a little uh, brown around the edges. It was frozen, so we wanted to get this cook on. So um, for those who aren't familiar with tri-tip, uh, it's definitely a West Coast thing, California specifically. Um, it's a, a piece of cut that's uh, very flavorful, uh, very delicious. Look it up. It, uh, it can take a lot of salt and pepper and, and uh, rub. Um, it's, uh, it's just a really nice piece of meat. Um, if you're everywhere else and you've, you know, everywhere else meaning like, you know, the rest of the country, um, ask your butcher for a piece, uh, for a cut. Uh, they'll know what you're talking about. Just say tri-tip um, and you, you can't go wrong. So um, get a prime piece. Yeah, definitely get a prime piece. So what we're going to do, we're going to hit this up with a little bit of oil. Give a little rub down. This is just to get the rub, something to stick, and and also uh, when we uh, get ready to uh, to sear it. And then we're gonna hit this with a little salt lick, dry rub. And again, a tri tip can take a lot of rub, so don't be shy. Get around the edges, nooks and crannies if there's any. You only got to rub it once. I've already rubbed the back side. It's just for uh, training purposes only. There we go. Okay, as you can tell, it was a nicely trimmed piece, already trimmed up nicely for us. You can get these already uh, trimmed like we did, um, or you can uh, ask your butcher to do it. Uh, or um, a lot of them come with the fat cap on it and uh, you can do as you please so um, so there you go okay so uh, we picked up these meters really neat little uh, Bluetooth technology uh, meat probes uh, thermometers and basically what we want to do now is put that into the, the meaty part no pun intended uh, right in the middle get that thing uh, squared up and even and get it in there so I think I messed that one up there we go and there's a little line on it tells you don't go farther than that line and I think that'll be fine so what we're gonna be looking for is uh, we're gonna get this on the trigger at 275 and we're looking for an internal temperature of 128. As soon as it gets to that, we're going to take it off and I'm going to have some coals ready on the Weber and we're going to sear it up. And as soon as we're done searing it, we're going to cut into it and start eating it. So I'm looking for uh, perfect medium rare to medium uh, on this. Tri-tip is a really forgiving meat. You can really get it well done if you wanted to, but uh, it's good to have a little bit of pink in there. All right, as you can see, that uh, Traeger is uh, on smoke setting. Uh, to start these triggers, you open up the uh, lid, you put on the smoke setting, and uh, gets it started. And uh, once all that smoke clears away, then you set for your temperature and close the lid. Today we're going to be using our grilling grate on the center cutout portion of that uh, Weber 22. And speaking of smoke, got a little treat for you. Got the yoder getting seasoned in. If you guys are interested in uh, the uh, walk around I did with this thing, uh, check out my uh, videos. I've got another video of uh, us taking delivery of this thing and uh, setting it up. And uh, stay tuned for other videos uh, for us cooking on this thing. Okay, yeah, looks like we're at our target temperature. Good. 
also got our chimney going. This tri-tip doesn't have far to go because the defrosting, you know, was still kind of warm. Um, so it's probably only got to go uh, 20 degrees and it'll be done. So uh, check back in a minute. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, a 92 on the inside. I targeted 128 and the ambient temperature is about 265. Okay, uh, we'll go ahead and take this thing off. Now it's already uh, pretty pretty well done. I'm only going to sear it lightly and uh, take it in and eat it. All right, here we go. Okay, so if you notice, uh, the grain kind of runs this way, and so what we want to do, we'll cut it in half right about here. Oh yeah, just to give you that look. Oh yeah, got a juice. Yeah, I turned the camera so you can see this a little bit better. So it's kind of hard to find where that grain exactly is, but uh, it's going this way, and I'm going to go ahead and start cutting right here. Oh yeah. So tri-tip is one of those kind of cuts that uh, you want about pencil thin on the slices. Got to definitely cut against the grain so that those fibers or as sure as possible, so it's uh, much more delicate. There we go. Okay, and then this piece here, over a little bit. See that crust uh, isn't so thick that it's, uh, can't see the meat, but it's definitely tasty. And you can see that grain going that way. This one we're going to cut like this. All right. I think Deborah's dying to get a piece of this. The the meat that is. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to be on camera. All right, so I'm gonna get some of that juice. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. Perfection. Mm. It's a beautiful thing. Mm. Oh my god. Mm. The, consist the, the texture is just right. It's nice and juicy. Patch, mm. Patch is waiting for his. <laughs> mm. So you guys, uh, let us know in the comments whether you think Patch should get a taste of this. Yeah. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Mm. Thanks for cooking my broth. Oh, it's so good. Well, you guys know what to do hit subscribe hit up the comments let us know what you think what you'd like to see us cook next we take requests and uh soon we're gonna have some shirts to give away um sorry this is really good mm. so right now we got about 70 71 subscribers when we reach 100 
we're going to give away a shirt and then a thousand subscribers whoever the, the number 1000 is gets a free shirt and every thousand after that so tell your friends mm.